another magical aspect of the voice is illustrated in the study of cymatics. And this is the science of visible sound vibrations or how sound affects matter. And we're learning that this is how sound affects all of us through this study. So we've all heard about when you sing a very high note <laughs> like that. I thought I'd let her do that, by the way. Uh, it can shatter a glass. You've seen that on YouTube, maybe. Or maybe the sound of a violin over grains of sand. Somebody's seen that, and it moves the grains of sand. Well, this is, that is the study of cymatics. Uh, and this next video is a, uh, an experiment using a tone generator to illustrate the amazing effects of sound on matter. What we can see here is um, a metal sheet, this time connected to a sound driver and being fed by a frequency generator. And as the frequencies increase, so do the complexities of the patterns that appear on the plate, as you can see for your own eyes. To get what he said, whenever the, the higher the frequency, the higher the vibration, the more complex the patterns. A device was developed in 2002 by uh, John Stuart Reed called a Cymoscope that can make sound visible in an entirely amazing way. And this device uses a video camera to film the effect of a particular uh, sound frequency or vocal vibration on water, on a drop of water actually. And here you see this gal is singing or speaking into the Cymoscope. And these vibrations create amazing patterns called harmonic sound mandalas. And those of you who maybe are familiar with yoga have heard of the word mandala. And a mandala is a geometric pattern that represents the universe metaphysically or symbolically. It's kind of like a microcosm of the universe. And actually what they're finding out now, which is very interesting, is that sound, you know, we're all taught in high school, sound travels in waves. Well, that's only partially true. Sound actually, like you're seeing in the picture, comes out of our mouth. It starts with a little bubble of sound here in the vocal folds, and it blossoms into this beautiful holographic bubble of sound. And that's all sound. If I played an instrument or an animal or anything, it would all come out in this bubble. And what you're going to be seeing in the next several videos is a cross section, a slice of this bubble. And here's the beautiful Moonlight Sonata in the Cymoscope. Each frequency makes a complex unique geometric pattern that would put a snowflake to shame. These universal resonance patterns mirror the underlying code that is common to everything in nature from the spiral of our DNA to the spiral of our galaxies. And this is referred to as sacred geometry. And these patterns of sacred geometry have been used in ancient and modern architecture. And many of the great cathedrals and temples are based on these same principles of sacred geometry. And there's the beautiful spiral in stained glass. And for all you Pink Floyd fans out there, Did you ever think Pink Floyd could look that pretty? <laughs> and here is Moss, the singing dog in the cymoscope. Yes, animals make the same patterns that we do. And a beautiful barred owl. We hear those in our backyard sometimes. And knock the whale trying to, to talk. <laughs> And this is your sacred voice. Every one of us would be able to make those same patterns in the cymoscope. It has nothing to do with whether you can sing or not. Many of these cymatic patterns they have found include the mathematical ratios of the universe. These ratios are found, as I said, in all living things. So around 3.5 million billion, rather, years ago, not million, uh, when the oceans were being formed and the first primitive life forms were evolving, uh, they are finding out that uh, many of these life forms exhibit uh, the same geometric patterns as the cymatic mandalas. And here you see the little trilobite, who looks very much like a cymatic pattern. Uh, and this possibly points to the connection between sound and life. And in the Bible, what does it say? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was 
God, the Word. So the study of cymatics can offer us an incredible opportunity to examine the hidden world of sound and vibration.